today I'm going to talk to you about the Japanese maples or Ace of Palmatum as they're more formally known. Um, these plants are all, always highly sought after. Everybody loves them for their foliage and their graceful habit. Um, they're originally uh, woodland plants and the bigger ones can become more tree-like but generally most of them are quite shrubby. Some are sort of low and spreading while others are more upright. But one thing they all have is this beautiful foliage which as you can see I've just pulled out a couple um, from the beds here and as you can see they come in lots of different colors yellows greens oranges reds the deeper plums and uh, some of it is really finely filigree while others is more palm like like a finger of your palm so um, they're very beautiful though and uh, they're quite easy to grow provided you give them the right position so all of the Japanese maples will need uh, shelter from the sun during the hottest part of the day. Um, the red-leaved ones, however, will need slightly more sun than the green-leaved and certainly more sun than the variegated-leaved varieties. And that's because to create this really bright red, it needs a lot of sun on there. So you can see how the leaves lower down on the stem, which, and these leaves don't get as much sun, they're sort of sheltered from the top growth here, these have turned greener. So if you want that really strong red, then um, they need to have a little bit more sun, but certainly still protection through the hottest part of the day. Now, um, the other thing that's crucial when growing Japanese maples is they need a sheltered position and shelter from uh, wind. They hate the wind and shelter from frost because a late frost can decimate the foliage. It just scorches very easily. The plants themselves are very hardy but the foliage is susceptible to scorch from frost, wind, drought, all those things and what will happen is you start getting very dry crispy tips on the leaf here. So um, the other thing to keep in mind, the small variety is really excellent for pots on the patio. Um, they've got a naturally elegant shape so I would personally not advise pruning unless you absolutely have to. I think pruning Japanese maples often ruins their shape. So um, ideally uh, any pruning that you do tackle should be done when the plant's completely dormant which is from late autumn to late winter and I would just recommend removing anything that's dead or damaged or is crossing etc. Um, and one final thing is they are quite shallow rooted so if planting out in the garden avoid overcrowding them they don't like too much competition um, and if they're growing in a pot um, you need to be particularly aware that they like a regular amount of water not waterlogged but a steady supply throughout the summer months.